Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. Today we'll conclude this particular series of pivot table lessons by showing you how to create a calculated field inside a pivot table. What, you may ask, is a calculated field? Well, a calculated field is a field that doesn't exist in our source data, but that we decide or someone asks us to create while we're already in the pivot table. So what we have as our source data are three fields. The invoice date, how many units we sold on that date, and the dollars for the units that we sold on that date. We've already created our pivot table and we take it into our VP of Sales. The VP of Sales looks at it for a few minutes and says, well, this is terrific. I can see uh, the amount that we sold in the month of June, which was the second quarter in the year 2007. And I can see how many units that we sold in September of that year. What I really want to see is our price per unit sold. Well, you don't have to have a heart attack and you can do it and you can do it quickly. Recall that we don't have a price per unit sold in our source data, but we can create a calculated field inside our pivot table. Here's how we do it. Just select any cell inside the pivot table. On the pivot table toolbar, drop down, select formulas, calculated field. Our calculated field is going to be our price per unit sold. Here's how we do it. Let's name it price per unit sold. And we'll create a formula for it. Let's backspace to get rid of the zero. We will be taking our sales, let's double click on it to enter it into the formula, divide it by, and now this time we'll divide it by units and we'll say insert the field. So there's our formula for our calculated field. Let's click OK. And there we have it. We have added in a new calculated field, price per unit sold. Let's do some cleanup on it. Let's uh, right mouse click, choose field settings, and let's change the title to price per unit sold. But since that's already a new field in here, let's make sure we add a space after that. Now let's go into the number. Let's make a currency with zero decimal points. Click OK click OK, and there we go. Total units sold, units sold, and the price per unit sold. And there we have our calculated field. All right, before we really go in and ask for the raise, let's do one more uh, formatting element for it, a design element. What we want to see is we want to see a formatted uh, report. So let's choose the format report and we can choose from a wide range of pivot table reports or pivot table tables. Let's choose this design and let's say OK. Now, uh oh, good thing we checked. We see that we have a calculation error it's really easy to change. We're dividing by zero. To get rid of it, what we will do is go into pivot table for table options. And over here in the pivot table options for error values, make sure we check this and leave that blank. And then we click OK. And there, we've removed those errors. We have a really nice professional report all ready to present to the VP for BP of sales. And we're ready to get our raise. OK. I hope you like that. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.